Rollins. And a good hard foul by Akeem Rollins. And he's looking for his 17th point. He's six for eight from the line. We're in the St. Louis region. And Kentucky will play either Washington or UAB. Number one seed, and of course a target on the Cats back. Everybody wants to go strong against the number one Kentucky. Well, their coach Tubby Smith uh, telling her, listen, this is, he was going to miss uh, the first half of this one, and he wasn't disappointed with the action. Rollins inside, and he draws the foul against Gabe Kennedy. Kennedy's third. Kennedy, 6'9", senior from Cameron, Alabama. It's a veteran UAB team. They have four fifth-year seniors. Not too many programs in the nation can say that. So obviously you have the maturity, the poise, and players that have accepted the fact that they are not going to go out there and play 30, 35 minutes given the style of play that Mike Anderson likes to employ. We see what it is. Just get after people defensively, harass all over the floor, and push the ball going the other way. Consequently, you got to use a lot of bodies. That's a bonus for Rollins. hits three throws, and he gets both of those, and back to a four-point lead for Washington. Back to the runner-up to the Stanford Cardinal. Cardinal have won their first round game. Squeaky Johnson, and that makes a sweet sound for the Squeaky Johnson shot. And it's a 60-59 game, five points for him. Jones, and he runs right into the charge. You can see that one coming. And he has four. So the two big men, for Lorenzo Romar, Bobby Jones, their best defender, and 6'8", Mike Jensen on the bench with four fouls. Trey Simmons returns, not for his defensive size, but his uh, outside shot. Now, this is really costly because uh, Lorenzo Romar, the coach of Washington, just does not have the depth. Bobby Jones, so important at the defensive end for the Huskies, and Mike Jensen, uh, the one big body that can score some points for Washington. Another block by Rollins, but unable to control it was Will Conroy. His teammates had taken off down court looking for the fast break, but uh, Conroy unable to handle the ball. So trailing by one, UAB with the ball. It's why this style is so effective. It's like a war of attrition to wear people out with the constant pressure, the constant up and down. Finley from outside, won't go down. Simmons rebounds. Pass ahead to Robinson for three. Off the front of the rim, and it's Edmonds trying to beat the Huskies down court. Finley off the pass from Johnson. And UAV lead 61 to 60 with four minutes gone in the second half. Simmons, short on the three. As legs may be leaving Washington. Easy one for ball at the other end. 63-60 Blazers. Quickly to the other end. And then the miss, but a foul as Brandon Roy up high trying to catch and throw it down. Uh, Squeaky Johnson off that little dribble penetration as the uh, UAB Blazers clearly coming out to start this second half looking to find Mo Finley, their top scorer, at 13 a game. And on that last possession, everybody going to the uh, offensive board for Washington to keep nobody back to protect. As uh, Nate Robinson, what often happens is when he sends his team lagging, he tries to do everything. And, not only play the backcourt position, he tries to get to the offensive board as well. Kennedy leaves with his fourth personal foul. Roy, an excellent free throw shooter, 79%, misses the first, and barely gets in the second. Time called. UAB 63, Washington. Bob Mosbach, our producer, Mike Arnold, our director, and our astute crew here at CBS Sports. 
Well, it's back there in the tape room, putting that together in a matter of minutes. A beautiful piece of artistry to reflect the action and the color of this road to the Final Four. And we're in Columbus, Ohio, where UAB with a ball and a two-point lead against the University of Washington. Inside came to Lewis, and the block from behind. Rollins gets another, and it won't fall for Edens, but he draws the foul. Foul starting to bite in Washington. They've got their two top big men on the bench with four. That's the first on Simmons. Make it, oh, make it three now on Simmons. Uh, the, the foul problems mounting for Washington as uh, Camario Edens is absolutely everywhere in this game. Had himself a fabulous first half. That is the first. Let's get it straight. First foul on Trey Simmons. And the 19th point for Edens. It's a new season high for Demario Edens. Career high, 22 points. Averages just a little under 10 on the season. It's a big game and under uh, prime circumstances for Demario Edens and these UAB Blazers. Now with a four point lead. 2-2-1 two, two, delay trap. Just another look by the UAB defense. Simmons can't hit the runner. Rebound by Squeaky Johnson. He'll bring it in. Five minutes gone in the second half. And out of bounds off Finley. And Washington will go the other way. In Mikey Anderson, the earlier report, Leslie Vesser asked him if he was a candidate for the opening at... Auburn University and he said they have not contacted him yet and there's Simmons giving it right back through behind Brandon Roy make sure you vote for your starting center on the Pontiac all-time tournament team a tough uh, call you can cast your ballot now at NCAA sports.com slash Pontiac we've seen Ewing and uh, Alcindor I'm sure Walton's in the mix Robinson up to deny the bigger man, Lewis, who had position on it. A little bit of a drought scoring-wise. Both teams may be a little bit uh, arm-weary. Certainly their legs have to be tired with all the chasing all over the floor. Yeah, look at how the percentages of shooting have dropped. 33% UAB, 28% in the second half for Washington. Both well over 50 the first half. In a crowd, Roy, and he dumps it back for three. Robinson well off the mark. Nice rebound by Edmonds. Long pass to Lewis. And it was Robinson who denied the easy basket, but the foul on Nate Robinson is his first. Well, there's a there's a one good reason why this uh, UAB Blazer team can play this style in the offseason. They get up at uh, 5.30, five days a week, and run two miles every day, which uh, takes a lot of commitment. Sounds like something that Anderson might have borrowed from his uh, <laughs> mentor at Arkansas. Well, and you find out who wants to be uh, in the foxhole with you if you have the, uh, the gumption to do that day in and day out in the offseason. And you could be uh, with your friends having fun. Five straight missed by Washington, and they won't get that basket from Allen. He stepped out of bounds as he started the drive. Meanwhile, at the other end, uh, big Marcus Lewis is uh, really added to the UAB cause. He's a three-point uh, average on the season, and uh, he has eight points. Washington just does not have enough big bodies. And Key Rollins in there right now. Mike Jensen on the bench with four. Bobby Jones is not all that tall, but plays big at 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. He's on the bench with four personal fouls also. And so they're just digging inside. Rollins there for Washington. 11-1 run for the Blazers to take a six-point lead with the ball. And there it is. And to Lewis, he gets the basket and the foul. They can't stop him. Look at the size. Tough to... Once he gets position to defend Marcus Lewis, who has 10 points. And what sets that up to Mario Edens 
finding that little seam into the lane to draw the defense and that big wide body Marcus Lewis making himself available they also have another rule in the team everybody's got to have 10 percent or less body fat I asked Mike Anderson I said what about the big fellow over there he said well not him everybody but everybody but Marcus <laughs> There's exceptions to everything. You can't, you can't have everything. <laughs> points, and that's tipped out of bounds by the Huskies. Lewis, by the way, 10 points in the game is his season high. And it's turned over by the Blazers. Eight point lead. Washington points uh, themselves falling behind with their two big men out so early here in the second half with four personals. And this usually means Nate Robinson time. He's got to find a way to, to make something happen, both ends of the floor, but uh, we saw him get a flurry offensively in that first half. And a four-minute stretch. He was four for four from the field. Well off the mark. Not even close for Curtis Allen. And Washington uh, looking more and more like a tired team. Beautiful move by Mo Finley. Somehow, making the drive was under the basket. I don't know how he got it up. It looked as if he almost had to hit the underside of the rim, but didn't. Yeah, and, and normally you would uh, want to use the backboard here, but he got so far underneath the basket that he had to reach back and just uh, flip it up there. Now the Washington Huskies, they're bending over, grabbing the shorts and the knees, and when you consider where they were they started in the pac-10 conference losing their first five games down 16 with about six minutes to go uh, to oregon state before nate robinson turned it on they turned their season around from being out of the mix and into the madness as they finished with a flurry finishing in second place in the pac-10 and uh coach lorenzo romar noting a five minute dry spell no field goals for the huskies he needs a timeout Well, a look at our tournament summary. The number one seeds continue. 80 and 0 against number 16, uh, Florida A&M. Uh, whoa, what's that? Rock and roll part two. Played 176 times. Thank you, Blazer fan. Here in the 2004 NCAA tournament thus far. You know, and we are keeping track. Uh, we have a stat on everything. 15 to 1 run for the Blazers as they uh, look like they're starting to wear down Washington. Yeah, the Huskies had a 60-56 lead, four points earlier in the half. Then the fouls that put Jones and Jensen on the bench. 13-1 cents for the Blazers. Five-minute drought, Washington. And the shots aren't even close. I mean, they're way off the mark. Let's see if it changes here. Down to three on the shot clock. Robinson had to force it up there and was short. That was long range. Uh, some of it for Washington is lack of manpower, and I also think uh, they are leg weary right now, and that's what that kind of pace that, that UAB sets will do to your legs, and it affects your offense. Finley uh, denied by Rollins, but a foul earlier, I believe, before the shot by Curtis Allen. We'll see if they'll put uh, Henry on the line. Yes, they will. Second on Allen. <laughs> Mo Finley, a fabulous student. He's actually attending grad school right now. He's already got a psychology degree. He's a member of the National Honor Society. How about a 3.80 in psychology? There's his GPA. What kind of guy from Lafayette, Alabama. Averaging 13 and a half. This is his 13th point tonight. He's right on schedule. Well, you got to put Jones back in, and Simmons yeah. comes with him. We would expect Jensen will return now that the uh, Blazers have opened an 11-point advantage and looking for another point here from Finley. Yeah, no, normally, these decisions are tough for a coach, and it depends on time and score, but you're down 10 now, approaching the 12-minute mark, and you don't want to get down 15 and then decide to put those players back because that's, that's too big a hill to climb against a quality ball club like UAB. One run by the Blazers, and finally Simmons with a ten, Simmons with a ten footer. He has eight. Mike Anderson has gone to his own now. The last couple of defensive 
sequences for UAB. I think trying to rest the legs of some of his key players while they had that 10-point lead. Jones playing with four fouls, trying to stop that man, Edmonds, and he loses him. Demario Edmonds, and he has the luxury now, knowing that the man trying to defend him has four. 22 points for Edmonds to lead all scorers. Tying his career high, a rare set play for either team. Everything has pretty much been trying to create off the dribble. Jones working his way free. Basket counts. And the foul is for the block on the Blazers. Well, that was flirting with number five. The foul goes against Sidney Ball. Well, Bobby Jones is one of those kind of players. I don't think he really keeps count of the fouls. He just goes out and plays as hard as he can. Sometimes he gets his team and himself in trouble by getting in early foul trouble. There's that beautiful lot pass to DeMario Edmonds from Mo Finley. The foul was before the collision. It was called on Marcus Lewis, his second. to Washington for Lorenzo Roman. Jones looking for his 10th point, but the Huskies get another chance. Got to save it from the backcourt violation. Good job there by Conroy. Simmons, he hits the two, and a four-point turn there for Washington. 10 for Simmons. Bobby Jones pops off the bench, and all of a sudden, looks like Washington has a little life again. They're down by seven. And in time, 10.45 left. And a foul down in the post, and it's Lewis appealing, so we're guessing he used the arm to ward off Washington, and that'll be his third. With it, a timeout, 10.40 left in Columbus. Field goal percentage is dipping down, although Washington's still about 50%. And more second chance points for the Huskies. But it's surprising Evans with a great game, matching his career high with 22. And Robinson, all 15 of Nate Robinson's points were in the first half. But Washington has to take advantage of every situation that comes up to three for six from the free throw line here in the second half. Had a couple of chances to complete three point plays and come up short. Jensen has returned for Washington. There's the double team on Allen and the steal. They force the bad pass. Finley on a two-on-one, and Ball gets the easy basket. Well done by the Blazers. That really pinched Curtis Allen over on that sideline, and he had to leave his feet to try to make a pass. And once he did, he couldn't get any, any well, muscle on it. has got to be a block, and is. As uh, Conroy with a drive, and uh, Ball didn't get position. Uh, and Allen just smothered over there. And once he left his feet, easy pickings for Mo Finley. And the easy fast break basket. You can't get yourself caught out near the midcourt stripe in the corners or in the deep corners because they will just really turn up the pressure big time on you. And when you do get the ball to the middle of the floor, good shots are plenty. Third foul on Sidney Ball. And that's the seventh on UAB, and the one and one goes to Conroy. 71% on the season from the line. That's 10 points for Conroy. And to walk on. Uh, just to go to Washington, they awarded him a scholarship, understandably, and having trouble handling the ball of the Blazers. And the foul's going to be called on Donnell Taylor. Robinson grabbing his uh, leg there as he had to slide to the floor to try to pick off that loose ball. Comes up Gimpy. He does, doesn't he? He's used to, to the bumps and bruises from his football career. Usually this is duck soup for Nate Robinson. Anything on the floor, he is so quick. Low to the floor, obviously, to begin with. He's got the good sure hands, but uh, got hit hard from behind, and he banged that knee on the floor as he hit the deck. Looking for his first point of the second half. They only have 7.35 to play. But uh, as we have seen him play here late in the season. He can get them in bunches.
Robinson for two. Cuts the UAB lead to seven with 7.35 left here in Columbus, Ohio. They're watching with intent interest up in the Emerald area. Emerald City of Seattle, Washington, rooting for their Huskies as they are down in Birmingham for the Blazers of UAB. 81-74, UAB with the ball. 7-18 left. Good ball movement. And good defense for the Huskies. I think UAB is content to take a about 30 of the 35 seconds off the shot clock. Finley, he doesn't get the bounce. Simmons with a good rebound. Spin move. Robinson left alone, and he hits the 15-footer. He has 19 to lead the Huskies. It's a five-point game. Plenty of time, 6.40 to go. And the kind of UAB gets caught up in the fact that they're using some clock. Become oh, they were using some clock. And Finley forces up a three-pointer, and no one went after it for Washington. And the foul. I think Finley surprised everybody. Most of all, his coach, Mike yeah. Anderson. What was that? And Mike Finley said, the psychology major said, hey, coach, I got tired of standing around. I got to psych myself up. You got us wound up to go hard, and now you want us to slow it down? Four fouls now on Simmons, so he becomes the third Husky playing with four. Jones, Jensen, and now Simmons. And that presents the free throws. Let's see, nine fouls on Washington, so one and one for number one, Donnell Taylor. Great at the top Juco shooting guard in the nation last year. And sometimes when you're trying to nurse a lead as UAB is with plenty of time left, six and a half minutes to go, you, you, you get passive, you get out of your, your normal rhythm, and so the other team uh, has a chance to gain uh, an edge in momentum, and uh, that's what Nate Robinson's trying to do. He made his last jump shot. Usually when he makes a shot, you can expect a little bit of a flurry from him. Demario Eddins with a career game returns to the Blazer lineup. Donnell Taylor hits two cleanly. 83-76. Roy, double team. Finally gets it to Robinson. Caught in that bad spot over in that uh, wing area, double team, but because of the size, able to get that pass out of there. That's a good reaction. A double team and all of a sudden the ball pass. There's two on that guy. Inside to Roy. No whistle. Jones picks up a loose ball. Even Robinson was in the mix. Four chances. It wouldn't go down. Long pass to Dunnell. And Jensen doesn't foul him and denies the score. Simmons on the scramble. The other way to Robinson. You're right, Dick. Terrific play by Jensen. See if he can turn it on at the other end. No. Robinson. And then he sets it up. And another layup is missed. Roy misses another. Finally, the score. So many opportunities to just lay the ball in. But the Washington Huskies really squeezing them out right now. Just trying to make something happen. Lasers by five with 5.20 left. Ball. That's not a problem there at all for him. He said, give it to me, I'll shoot it and score my eighth point. Well, there's our holes against that zone defense, and that baseline is one of them. Kick ball, new 35 for Washington, with 5.06 left, and Will Conroy, number five, returns to the Husky lineup, and he is built Husky, isn't he, for a point guard. And he has a notion most of the time of dropping that head and driving to the basket. Outside it comes to Robinson. Inside and back out to Jones. And he's fouled by Finley. And that will be a three-point attempt now for Bobby Jones. Second foul on Finley. Good pass out by Roy. He's been doing that most of the night, penetrating and kicking, but uh, Finley... Oh, he was inside the line, Jones. He staggered back outside after 
the contact. Looking for his 12th point. And this one to cut the lead to five. And they'll be in the 80s, both teams. You know, we saw that transition defensive play by Mike Jensen. Realizes he can't pick up a, a fifth foul. Certainly doesn't want to. He got back, still challenged the shot, and didn't commit the foul. you got to have that mindset in the early part of the game as well so you don't get yourself in trouble and put your team behind the eight ball. That's really a good point, Coach. Look at that. Goodness. <laughs> it's a player it's commentating. <laughs> You're thinking. Your brain still working? Not quite. <laughs> 85-80, UAV on top, 4.45 left. That's Jensen denying as he deflected that like a soccer goalie. 15 on the shot clock for the Blazers. Johnson, Mo Finley in the backboard, a long bomb, and it doesn't fall for ball. Robinson, he's open, uses the cross, beautifully done, 85-82, and Washington within three, 21 now for Robinson. Nicely done by Will Conroy, didn't waste any time, right back to Nick Robinson. And Mike Anderson wants a time, doesn't like, the, like those long bombs that are not falling for his Blazers. Four minutes, 13 seconds left. 85, 82. Out of the game. First half shooting, both teams over 50. Second half barely at 40. That's uh, the toll of the fast pace of this game and you can get more, more complete game stats at cbsportsline.com. Oh, you wouldn't figure Washington to be able to continue a 58% rate especially with the, the legs getting weary and then you throw into the, the, the foul problems that they've had. Washington in the zone and that's frustrated UAB but inside it goes. Kennedy is fouled. It appeared to be Brandon Roy who came in to help out. Two men are raising their hands. One is Jones, one is Roy. If it's on uh, Jones, he's out of here with five. Or is it on Jensen? Yeah, it's Jensen. Oh, Jensen who, he was the third man in the mix and that is his fifth. He is disqualified. 11 points for Jensen as he leaves. Was trying to avoid the contact there. It looked like uh, Brandon Roy got, got involved with the play. We get another look. And there's Roy. And they, oh, yeah, Jensen from, from the back. With the body. That's the seventh time this year he's fell down. At the line is Gabe Kennedy. Six points tonight. Sixty-two percent shooter on the season. And Jensen now can only bury his head in a towel and hope his teammates can rally. They're down by four. And now trail by five at 87-82. Four minutes exactly left. Washington Huskies have had a lot of success just putting the ball on the floor, getting into the lane, either taking it all the way to the basket or kicking out for a jump shot. Exactly what uh, Conroy was trying to do, and uh, whistle as uh, Conroy hits the deck. And I believe the foul is going to be on Squeaky Johnson. That'll be number four on him, and we'll send Robinson to the line. Will Conroy having himself a solid game, maybe last uh, week in the Pac-10 final against Seattle, coming down the stretch, tried a little do, do a little too much on his own, and I think he uh, heard it from Lorenzo Romar, dad of Nate Robinson, Jock, running back for the Huskies, 1981 to 84. There is a obviously a home game up in Seattle. The only player to earn MVP honors in both the Orange and Rose Bowls. I did the Rose Bowl game when the Washington beat Iowa 28 to nothing, and he was the MVP as a sophomore. Terrific player. His son isn't bad either. 87, 84, UAB.
seven left. UAB leading by three, two timeouts, and both teams are in the double bonus. Washington with the arrow. Mike Anderson's wife, Marshita, and the number one fan. Oh, you can tell the course of the game through the eyes and emotions, but that's true of Leona Romar as well, the wife of Lorenzo. If anyone feels it as deeply as uh, anyone in the audience, it's the wives. It's, it's life. And uh, tough decisions uh, having to be made by both Lorenzo Romar and Mike Anderson. Mike Anderson decided to uh, let his team slow things down, and they've lost a little bit of their edge. And uh, Washington able to creep right back in. Well, Coach is undoubtedly reminding their team this is what it's all about. Down to the final 340. Team moves on to the final 32. Highly competitive. UAB with a three-point lead. Edens their top scorer with the ball. Now it's Finley driving. Can't hit it. Rebound. And UAB with another chance. Finley fires the three. A big three for Mo Finley. He had 16. Absolutely no hesitation that time by Finley. And he did the wise thing on the first part of that play. Take the ball to the basket. Challenge the defense. Blazers hit the 90 mark. Jones. Robinson for three. Not there. Roy able to get the rebound and no foul. And it's out of bounds to UAB. Lorenzo Romar wanted a foul on the drive by Roy. Oh, so they're going to say out of bounds to Washington. Well, Mo Finley tried to get to the basket, missed that, but uh, all of that enabled... UAB to get that offensive rebound to set up his three. Finley with a steal. Six-point lead. 2.45 remains. That was bad pass. Robinson. Conroy. And a blocking foul. The basket is good. Washington gets it down there yeah. quickly, doesn't it? Well, well, you got Nate Robinson and Will Conroy in the open floor. They're like uh, tailbacks out there challenging the defense. Finley trying to get back, but uh, sliding and moving. And a good call there by the official. And well, it's a senior, fifth-year senior-oriented team for UAB. This is a Washington club that only loses one, Curtis Allen. And the men who are starring for them here tonight will all be back on the Seattle campus next year. Three-point play makes it 90-87 with 2.25 to go. And the timeout called by Mike Anderson on the UAB bench with his team in front, 90 to 87. Less time, of course, 223 at the Blazers have used one of their two timeouts, both in the double bonus. Washington still with the arrow. The foul situation. Washington has lost a man as uh, Jensen out. Jones and Simmons with four. Johnson, Lewis, and Kennedy all with four for UAB. I'm sure Mike Anderson telling his ball club, no matter what they do offensively, make sure they have good court balance so they can get back in transition and prevent a fast break layup for Washington. 15 on the shot clock. Sneaky Johnson. Edmonds. And from the side, Finley can't hit. Jones with the rebound. Where's the Robinson? Here come the Huskies. Robinson wheels inside the score. And it's a 90-89 game as Robinson with 25. Again sparking the Huskies. He's done that all season long. A squeaky Johnson took himself out of the play there. Just sort of running at and past the, the Robinson. Opening up that drive to the basket. The Blazers by one with 127, 126 left. Inside, and the block by Rollins. Is there a foul? He didn't hear a whistle. Hakeem Rollins has been a terror defensively. There's Robinson always looking to attack the rim, and most times when he's got his legs on there, will throw that one down. 10 on the shot clock. Finley skids to a stop. He's hot. Three, two, one. Squeaky Johnson hits it. Oh, by 
with the time running out. He throws up a three, and it connects at the other end. The basket is good for Will Conroy. But what a play, what a shot. Both teams in the 90s, 93-91, old school, run and go, and a foul on Jones. That'll be all for him if it is on Jones. I might have pointed at Rollins. No, it is on Jones, and that'll be his fifth. Night from the screen, but does the wise thing, just gets out of that free throw line area, try to collect himself. And now Washington, uh, no matter what happens here, they don't need it. If it's a three-point lead, they don't necessarily need a three. They should be thinking of continuing to attack the rim. And then if it's a kick out for a three, so be it. 94-91, as expected, a scoring fest. Robinson takes it in, so it scores. Does it count? It's a foul on Robinson for the charge, but it was the ball in the air for the shot. That's what Lorenzo Romar is asking. Do they count the basket? And apparently not. Well, Demario Edens, who's been the offensive start there in plenty of time, and there was the contact before the shot, before no the release of Nate Robinson. Good call. 38.4 seconds. UAB, three-point lead. UAB Blazers will get the ball, 38.4 seconds left. They lead by three. Well, a number of times in the last three or four minutes, Dick, uh, UAB has been trying to get there to take the charge, but they either have been moving or have been too far underneath the basket to get that call. The Huskies have the possession arrow and a holding call against Conroy before the ball was inbounded. And that's the two shots, uh, both teams in the double bonus. It figured that it would take 90 to win this one, and here we are at 94-91, 38 seconds to go. It was a uh, run by Washington in the first half, 15-1. to As you see, Kentucky are already a winner, 20 points. Down and fire up a quick three. The idea, keep going to the basket. And you got the Trey Simmons on the floor who can knock down that three, or, or Nate Robinson, you can kick it out to them if you have to. 96-91, Conroy, the distance didn't take him long to get two of them back. 96-93. Well, just a few seconds, and that's how quickly you get that two. And now Washington committing the quick foul, trying to make this game go forever as they chip away. There's yeah. Will Conroy going right down the gut. Now, again, if he would have to pull up on the dribble and make that extra pass for the three-point shot, you will take it. Demario Edmonds goes to the other end, the leading scorer for the Blazers with 22, and he's been productive at the line. You see 9 for 11 of his average on the season. He's a 9.6 average score. Big game for Edmonds. And a gigantic defensive play to go along with the offensive heroics as he took that charge from Nate Robinson. His 23rd point, that's his career high. Second year, sophomore from Chicago. Boy, this 33 seconds could go a long time, Dick, if Washington could continue to get to the rim and get twos and then fouls. It's just a matter of UAB can make their free throws. Evans gets the first one. And the second. Oh, he has been deadly. 98-93. Conroy, same action. This time to Rollins for the easy jam. Just a couple of seconds used. And the foul by Conroy on Finley. That is no hesitation on the part of uh, Will Conroy there to commit the foul on Finley. He's labored a little bit from the line. Four for seven, and has had a tough night from the field. Six for 20, but he hit a gigantic three about a minute and a half ago. We foolishly said at the start of the second half it may not take 90 to win, maybe 100. Not so foolish. <laughs> I guess not. 27 seconds to go. Finley can hit the century mark, but does not, and that'll delight the Washington faithful. Five-point game. He misses this, a one possession opportunity for Washington. And, and Mike Anderson, the coach of UAB, misses two with 
like to do something to slow down the onslaught to the basket by Washington. Robinson takes it to the goal and scores a one-point game at 98-97. And the foul by Robinson on Edmonds. And he's the one Blazer that has not been shaky at the line. But UAB, as good a defensive team as they are, and that time Finley opened up the gates, couldn't stay in front of Nate Robinson just to force some kind of a jump shot rather than layup after layup. Puts a lot of pressure on the free throw shooting. Edmonds with 24 points, tops for the Blazers, and 11 for 13 from right there. 12 for 14, and his free throw shooting uh, could be the part of the headline tomorrow in Birmingham. And uh, Washington will use a timeout. Let him think about that second free throw. Two-point game. Edens at the line looking for a century for UAB. And he has been cool at the line. 100 to 97. Quickly into the offensive end, and Conroy has it blocked. Mario Edens with another terrific defensive play from behind. You know, this, is when, this is why you practice all those, all those hours. Your instincts take over. You start thinking, boy, it's tough to put one foot in front of the other. Squeaky Johnson. Oh! And uh, it's still within reach of Washington. A three-point game. No timeouts for the Huskies. Might seal it with a free throw here and does. 101 97, eight seconds to go. And it's UAB who uses the timeout with eight seconds left. No waltz here, it's been hip hop, up tempo. 101 97, eight seconds to go, no timeouts. And University of Kentucky with its uh, high-scoring effort against a surprisingly productive Florida A&M team tonight. We'll beat the winner on Sunday. That's after Cincinnati and Illinois battle for the Sweet 16 spot. Well, this is tough now. you got to push the ball all the way from the other end of the floor, which is going to take at uh, least uh, three or four seconds to get in the scoring area. So Lorenzo Romar said any kind of score we can get as quickly as possible and then foul one more time. It is where uh, the luxury for the UAB Blazers is you can give the three, don't foul on the three-point attempt. Allen with five, got a hurry from the corner. Simmons hits the three. 101-100. And the quick foul with 1.1 second left. Now, I'm not all that sure that the clock stopped on the made field goal. Officials didn't really look up. Lorenzo Romar was uh, out of timeouts, couldn't take it. Simmons deadly from the corner. That's his play all season long. And they're going to check the clock to see. Allen is the Washington player down court. He misses. It can only be this death break. And count to the goal. That's what I mean. Oh, <laughs> my. I mean. <laughs> and what a game and what a victory for the Blazers of UAP and Mike Anderson and Lorenzo Romar. They're exhausted as well as these kids. What a show. In regulation, both teams score 100, and the Blazers prevail by two. Edmonds 26, Finley 20 for the winners. Robinson 27, the little guy only a sophomore a star again. Kentucky then in the St. Louis Regional will meet UAB on Sunday. It'll be Pacific and Kansas as well in that region. And there are Chevrolet players of the game, Demario Edens and Nate Robinson. The both were truly brilliant at times, but Edens, both ends of the court. What a game for the sophomore from Chicago. So the final score here in Columbus, UAB 102, Washington 100. Great gumball after these words.